Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Germs. One day, the kittens came home from playing outside and wanted some fruit to eat. Yummy! I want to have an apple. I want grapes. And I want both apples and grapes. Kittens, weren't all of you just playing outside? You need to wash your paws before you eat because they're covered with germs. I've never seen a single germ in my whole life. What if germs are just a story Mommy made up to scare us into washing our paws? Hey, why don't the three of us go on a big germ hunt? And if we don't find any, we can tell Mommy germs don't exist. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy always says that there are lots of germs in the bathroom. see even one germ anywhere. Of course not. Who'd want to live in the toilet? Maybe they like to live where there's food around them everywhere. The kitchen! <laughs> so, um, have you found any germs? Not even one teeny tiny baby germling. Well, maybe they're so teeny tiny that you can't see them at all without a magnifying glass. Oh. Oh, this is no germ. It's our dad. <laughs> see germs on any of these buttons. Yikes, oh. I found one. Right in there. It's just a regular old spider. Mommy's always telling us to wash our paws when we've been playing outside, right? That must mean that lots of germs live outside. The kittens examined everything around them very carefully, but they still didn't find any germs. That's it. Our research proved there's no such thing as germs. Right. And I'm going to eat something right now without bothering to wash my filthy paws. Cookie, did you remember to wash your paws first? They've got germs all over them. And you're getting germs on the cupcakes as well. Daddy, don't tell me you believe those fairy tales about germs because we proved they aren't real. We looked everywhere and didn't find them. There's none outside or in the toilet either. So we never have to wash our paws again. No! You didn't see any germs because germs are very, very tiny. Even a magnifying glass can't see them. You can only see them through a special machine that's way stronger than a magnifying glass called a microscope. <laughs> huh? Whoa. I have a really good idea. The kittens washed their paws with soap and then checked them again through the microscope. Hmm. Well, now there aren't any germs on your paws at all. Which means you can eat all the cupcakes and fruit that you like. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> it was so nice to eat cupcakes and fruit when they knew there were no germs on their paws. From then on, the kitty cats always washed their paws before they ate. Detectives! One day, Cookie, Candy, and Pudding decided to play with their favorite toys. Blub, blub, screech! Blub, blub, vroom! My fish car rules! But Candy couldn't find her precious kitten doll. Miss Kitty Lou is gone! Guess you lost her. Know how you feel. 
because I'm always losing my stuff. You leave your toys everywhere, but I take care of my doll. Ha <laughs> ha! You probably just left her somewhere. Maybe she'll turn up, you know, one day. Like maybe when we're a hundred. <laughs> but I want Miss Kitty Lou now, not in a hundred years. If Perlock Holmes, the great detective, were here, he'd help us find her in no time. I've been reading about his super duper smart deduction method. What did you just say? Duck, what was that? Deduction method. It means that you have to think really hard about something you lost and then go look. It's pretty much the most geniusy way to look for stuff. <laughs> Elementary. It won't work. Perlock Holmes is in books. He can't really help me. But we can become great detectives too and find Miss Kitty Lou for you. Oh, oh awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So, Miss Candy Cat, exactly how big would you say your missing doll was? Sort of this big, sir. That big, huh? Too big to lose in the grass. Hmm. Oh, I know a place something that big could hide for sure. Oh, I'm okay. Dark in here. Hello? Found something? Miss Kitty Lou? Better. Dad's old hat with a visitor living in it. Look. <laughs> How on earth did Dad's hat end up as an owl house? Guess he must have left it laying around somewhere. So, Miss Candy Cat, please tell me where the last place you saw Miss Kitty Lou was. It was in the sand pit, sir. We were making sand castles and it started to rain. That's it then. Your doll must be buried in the sand. Any luck? Think so. Is it my kitty? Better. One of my cars. Putting stinky sock. And a mole. Ah. How did my car end up buried in the sand? Elementary, my dear cookie. You just didn't put it back where it belongs. Where did you put Miss Kitty Lou then? I just don't know. Maybe we aren't great detectives after all. <laughs> yes, we are. You've got me thinking. Let's try finding my doll stroller. When the rain started, I put Kitty Lou right near her stroller. This could be an important piece of the puzzle, Miss Candy Cat. Lead the hunt! And so the three detectives set out on their search for the missing doll's also missing stroller. Up and down they searched. <laughs> it wasn't always easy. But world-class detectives never give up. I found some tracks. Stroller tracks? Possibly. I wonder where they go. Let's follow them. The mysterious tracks led back to the kitty's own house. Whoa. Ah. Guys, I found it. But the stroller's empty. Hey, what's this thread doing here? Oh, that's Miss Kitty Lou's hair. Hey, look, it's another one. The kitty detectives followed the trail of threads. Founder! Looks like Mommy's the culprit in the lost doll mystery. Yep, guilty as charged. I found her in the stroller dripping wet, so I pushed the stroller back to the house and I hung her up to dry. Thank you, Mommy. I guess this means the case is solved. When you're finished playing, you should put your doll back where she belongs. I found my lost car and pudding smelly sock. Oh. Ha! Look at my little detectives. And guess whose daddy got his paws on a copy of the new Perlock Holmes board game? Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Being a detective is great fun, but it's good to put your toys back where they belong so you can find them when you're ready to have fun again. The goldfish! The kitty cats have been asking their parents for a pet. You can open up your eyes now. Oh, oh wow. wow, it's, it's a, a goldfish. goldfish. She's easy to look after. Just feed her and make sure she has clean water. I think that you'll manage. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> we need to make certain we take proper care of the fish. We need to feed her. Let's give her a lovely piece of bread. Nah, huh? that's not really taking care of her. We need to feed her something that's really yummy. The kittens brought the goldfish a piece of Daddy's cake. Here, fishy. Hope you like it. No, uh -huh. wait. Uh -huh. You can't put whatever you want into the aquarium. 
This is her special food. Fish really don't eat much. She just needs a little pinch of fish food. <laughs> I could stand here and look at her for hours and hours and hours. It's nice out. How about taking a break from the fish and playing outside for a while? Can we take the fish out with us? Sure you can, but you need to be very careful with her. The kitty cats had called their friends over to their house to see their new pet. I think that it's beautiful. She's really, really good at swimming. <laughs> Do you think that I could feed her and take her for a walk? Me too, guys. Me too. Hurrah! <laughs> Boris, you've had long enough. It's my turn. <laughs> oh, the fish is looking a bit sad. Maybe if I read her a book about sea creatures, she'll feel better. Here's an octopus, and this is a blue whale. All you'll do by reading that is make her feel homesick, Pudding. I'll make her feel better. <laughs> happy, happy, happy fish! Huh? Maybe she's hungry? Whoa! All gone! I know what's wrong. Remember, Mommy said the fish only eat a little bit. And we gave her an entire thing of food. Oh, that poor fishy. No wonder it's not happy. Imagine if someone threw that much food into your room, kittens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and this water needs changing. Water to a fish is the same thing as air is to us. Just imagine if all the air where you're living got filthy all of a sudden. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, the air here smells just horrible. You're right. It really isn't fresh at all. I don't think the three of you are ready to take care of a pet yet. So I guess I'd better take the goldfish back to the store. No, Mommy, wait. Please give us another chance. I promise that we'll take care of the fish properly. We'll just give her a pinch of food, not too much. And change the water every day, promise. <laughs> well, now it seems your fish is feeling much better. And this rainbow arch is for her bowl to keep her nice and happy all the time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's how the goldfish became part of the family, and how the kitty cats learned to take care of her properly. Kittens on time. One day, Cookie, Pudding, Candy, and Mustard were playing on the playground. I'm putting on a Cinderella play for my mommy's birthday. Of course, I'll play Cinderella. But would you guys play all the other parts? I can play the prince, and Pudding can play the king. Mm. Candy can be the fairy godmother, <laughs> and Mustard can be the evil stepmother. <laughs> yeah, I can do that, sure. We also need a place to rehearse. That's no problem. We can have the rehearsals at our tree house. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! It wasn't very long until the play needed to be ready for Cupcake's mom's birthday, so the kittens worked very hard getting their costumes ready. Just as planned, they hurried to the treehouse in the morning to start rehearsals. Where's Cupcake, huh? I got up very early to be here. I'm sorry. I switched my alarm off so I didn't get up on time. Ready 
everyone. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's lunchtime. I'm going home. We'll just rehearse without the evil stepmother. But I've only memorized the first part of the play, the evil stepmother part. So we can just start again tomorrow. The next morning, Cupcake was late again. I just can't seem to wake up on time. Plus, I'm also running late to my dance class. We'll just have to rehearse fast then. Cinderella, you have to bake a dress, scrub the beans, and sew the buttons on the stove. What? I think you mixed some things up there. Well, Ooh. welcome to the fancy royal ball. Did Ooh. somebody order one glass slipper? That comes later. You've all got to learn your parts better. We'll try to rehearse again tomorrow, all right? I have to get to my dance class. Bye. <laughs> but the next morning, Cupcake was late yet again. And they only had one rehearsal left before her mom's birthday. Uh, Kindly stuff huh? your dainty foot in this slipper. No, the slipper part's at the end. How can we perform this play if none of you learn your parts right? But you're always late, Cupcake. We can never rehearse our parts because we're waiting for you. Oh, yes, you're right. I just don't know how I'll ever wake up on time. Maybe you should stay awake all night. Then Cupcake would end up falling asleep right on stage. <sighs> Uh, maybe you should get the biggest alarm clock ever! I mean, super big! <sighs> Where would we ever get an alarm clock that big? I have a really good idea! Cupcake needs to put her alarm clock away from her bed. That way she won't switch it off. If Cupcake's trying to get the alarm clock way up there, she'll wake up for sure. Great idea. That's what I'll do. The next morning, the kittens were surprised. Well, good morning, everybody. I've been waiting for you to rehearse. And that day, everyone got a chance to memorize and rehearse their lines. <laughs> My lady, you're not leaving yet. I'm afraid I must be going now. But perhaps we'll meet again someday. And I promise that I won't be late. Happy birthday! Thank you, everyone. You were just amazing. But my cupcake is such a sleepyhead. How on earth did you get all of this work done? Thanks to the kitty cats, I'm not a sleepyhead anymore, Mommy. They helped me learn to get up on time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cupcake's mom loved the surprise. And Cupcake has been on time ever since. Daddy Daycare. One day, Mommy was getting ready to go and visit her friend. Daddy will be taking over for me today. So try to be good, all right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What exactly does that mean? Dad taking over from Mom? Will he put on a pink dress and grow his hair all fluffy and curly? Huh? Oh. Hey. Oh. Ow. Ow. Hey. Oh. Ow. 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 <laughs> or will he try to take all of Mommy's fitness classes at the gym? <laughs> None of that. What it means is that instead of Mommy taking care of us, it'll be Daddy. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, wake up! Yay! Hey! You're Mommy, Daddy, all day long! Uh, yeah, all right. Come with Mommy, Daddy. Daddy made the kitty cats their favorite eclairs. That's so good. It's so much better than porridge. It's nice when Daddy fills up for Mommy. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Ah, and now let's watch TV for a while. Oh. As we enter the 38th hour of the Snow Geese Migration live stream. Um, Dad, don't you have some other things to do? Uh, wait, what? If you're really supposed to be doing what Mommy does, uh, then you should make lunch. And wash all the clothes. And then vacuum the entire house. Uh, does Mommy really do all that? Oh, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> The kitty cats turned on their favorite pirate show. 
while Daddy made pizza for lunch instead of Mommy and put all the dirty laundry in the washing machine and tried his best to vacuum the carpets. These effects are great. You can practically smell smoke for real every time they fire their cannons. That's not the show. Something's on fire. Whoa, what's that about? The laundry room is filling up with bubbles, guys. Um, Mom? Wait, it's not Mom, it's Daddy! Daddy! Now what? Oh. Oh. There's something burning in the kitchen! Oh. And the laundry room's blowing bubbles! Oh, gosh! Stop! 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 Uh, uh, the pizza! Oh, hot, 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 hot! <laughs> oh, I'm such a dummy. With the cleaning and the washing, I let the pizza burn. Mom's chores are a whole lot harder to do than they look, huh? This will make Mommy so upset. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Since the chores are really hard, we should help Daddy with them. With the kitty cat's help, Daddy managed to get everything done properly. <sighs> Mommy, yeah, you're, you're back! back. <laughs> Meow, have you been watching TV this entire time? No, Mom. We helped Daddy clean all the dirty clothes. And vacuum stuff. And cook the yummy pie, too. Super Daddy, you not only kept the kittens entertained, but you did all of the housework? <laughs> Oh, well, isn't that what you'd expect from an excellent daddy like me? It was like daddy had turned into mommy. Everybody had to help me be mommy. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, I must have turned into your daddy because he never comes home without something yummy with him. Strawberries, yay! So, so awesome! awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy and the kitty cats had a fun day pretending to be mommy. But everyone was so happy when the whole family was together again. The Talking Birdie. One day, Daddy was busy as usual dreaming up recipes. And so the next step is to take the freshly baked cookie out of the oven and then top it with a cream candy. And as that melts, serve it with raspberry pudding. That sounds very yummy. Better write it down, my dear. Daddy, Daddy did, did you, you call us? us? Pudding, little candy, and cookie. Dad, did you just say I was raspberry flavored? Your sweet daddy has just thought up a yummy new dessert recipe. Right. Kitties, before I forget, guess what? The neighbors have gone away for a little trip and have asked us to look after their parrot. There's going to be a real live parrot here? Hooray! Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Birdie, birdie, birdie. You know, I read somewhere that parrots can talk. The birdie can talk? That's awesome! Well, go on, birdie, say something. Don't be shy, say something, say something! Maybe she doesn't want to talk stuck in a cage like that. Well, let's let her out then. Okay, we're listening. Maybe she's a little hungry. Well, what do you say? Say thank you. What you should say is thank you. Maybe the birdie likes candy? Want some candy, girl? Not yet. You can have it if you say please. Maybe she's just too little and hasn't learned how to say anything yet. We should try to teach her. The huh? kitty cats tried to think of just the right word to teach the parrot. Hmm. I think we should teach her how to say boo. Oh. Then when the neighbors get back, she could really scare them. <laughs> but how could we be certain she'd only scare them? What if she started scaring everybody? Boo! Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe we should teach her to say uh, something like congratulations, because that's a word everybody likes hearing. But Pudding, congratulations is what you say when something good happens, not just whenever. <gasps> congratulations! Oh. Oh. Congratulations! 
We should teach him a word that's normal and simple. Something like, hi there. You're right. The bird won't scare anybody if he says that. Hi there. 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 Oh. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Uh, what? Kittens, could you please go play somewhere else? I just wrote the last step of my new recipe as hi there. Now, what was supposed to happen after you take the hot cookie out of the oven? Take the freshly baked cookie out of the oven and top it with a cream candy. And as that melts, serve it with raspberry pudding. <gasps> <gasps> The clever parrot had remembered Dad's recipe perfectly. Thank you. That's it exactly. Well, I guess you do know how to talk after all. Thank you. Candy, please. Congratulations. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> how come you didn't say anything before when we asked you to talk? Well, my darlings, maybe you were talking too much yourselves. And she didn't have a chance to get a single word in. Ah. Very sorry, Birdie. We should give you time to answer. Birdie? Hi there. Good afternoon. Oh, awesome. Meow, 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 meow. Thank you, Cookie. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Pudding. You're, You're very, very welcome. welcome. That night, they all tried Daddy's new cookie recipe, and their new parrot friend talked so much, it was hard to believe it had ever been quiet at all. The Good Deeds Agency. One day, Daddy was taking out the trash, and the kittens decided to help him. <laughs> Thank you, kittens. What lovely, helpful children helping your daddy out. Know what? It feels great when somebody thanks you. It sure does. Should we try helping someone else out? We should start our own good deeds agency. We could help everyone. They'd all love that. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kittens turned their treehouse into the Good Deeds Agency. All they needed next were people to help. Looks like there just aren't any cats that need our help. It's just that no one knows what we're here to do. We should just walk around and help everyone. That'll get our agency's name out there. The Good Deeds Agency is here to help you. Oh, no. Looks like Mommy isn't here for us to help. That's all right. We'll just put all these buttons into jars and leave a We Helped You card. She'll see what we did and the card, and she'll thank us later. It'll be great. <laughs> to go get some new dandelions. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. We're really good at helping people. Our good deeds agency is just the best. Here come the cats that we helped. Prepare to get thanked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What's wrong? Dear kittens, I understand that you were only trying to be helpful, but unfortunately you seem to have created some problems. What? You've sorted my buttons by color, but I needed them sorted by shape. The shapes of the buttons were the important thing for me. 
We wanted to plant new flowers today, but then you flooded our garden beds. All of the soil turned into a mushy swamp. Oh, you kids did not realize my artistic vision, and you mixed up all my paints. Yellow is green, and blue is now purple. Oh. Oh, no. We tried to make a good deeds agency, but made a bad one instead. <laughs> Don't feel bad, my darling kittens. Trying to help your neighbors is a wonderful idea. Just make sure you give it some thought. I have a really good idea. We can correct all of the agency's mistakes by first asking what we can help them with. And exactly how. <laughs> Soon the kittens fixed all the mistakes they made and helped everyone so well that word about their good deeds agency got around to all their neighbors. Kittens! Some of our neighbors could really use the good deeds agency's help! <laughs> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The good deed agency turned out to be a great idea. It's so nice to make friends and neighbors happy by helping them. Willpower. One day, Daddy baked some lovely muffins. Oh! Ooh, yumminess alert! Now, kittens, the muffins need to cool for a bit. You can all have a muffin once they're cool, after supper. Supper? But that's ages and ages away. Well, you'll just have to use a little willpower. Uh, willpower? What's that? Willpower helps us when we need to stick to a decision we've made, even if it's hard and we don't really want to go through with it. Like not eating muffins before supper. Oh. Having them now would ruin your appetite. Oh. Let's make it a game for you. The kittens who don't eat a muffin before supper will get a lovely prize. Prize! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sounds like we have a deal then. Oh, but I so want just one delicious muffin. They just smell so good. Cookie, let's use your willpower. Why don't you play a game of chess? That'll keep your mind off of muffins. Ooh. Or take your robot and play with candy for a little while. Uh, hmm. I'll be back in just a moment. I'm going to take oh. these into the kitchen. That way, they won't tempt anyone. Cookie! Uh, I've got an idea. The three of us should go out to the playground. There won't be any muffins out there. <laughs> Everyone, I've got a surprise. My mommy just baked all these beautiful and delicious muffins. Go on, have some. Huh? Ah. No! Remember to use your willpower. Oh. We promised Mommy that we wouldn't have any muffins at all before supper. Yeah, but this isn't one of the muffins from our house. But if we eat them now, we won't be hungry when supper time comes. You must remember your willpower. Come on, I'm taking you home. Muffin! Tasty muffin! <laughs> Maybe Cookie really is super hungry. Let's get him a banana or something. Wow. Look at how fluffy they are. <gasps> Bet they're super yummy as well. Ah! <laughs> give me the muffins! No, give them to me! <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, no. You ate all of them? Uh, now, kittens, what happened?
happened to the muffins? Are you telling me you didn't follow the rules of the game? We tried. We honestly really tried to use our willpower. But, well, in the end, I guess we just couldn't do it. We didn't eat the muffins. That means we win. Huh? Oh, wow. We thought you ate them all. I dreamed of these muffins all day, but when I realized you wanted to eat them as much as I did, I decided to help you by hiding them. I've learned something awesome. If the three of us always help each other to get through it when something's difficult, then together we can do anything. You're right about that, Candy. And because the three of you have done so well, you've earned some wonderful prizes. I made you some new t-shirts, so everyone will know that you have wonderful willpower. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wow! I'd like to try that just like you and really test my willpower. I'd love that. But first, let's all play a game of tag. So we can build an even bigger appetite. <laughs> <laughs> so the kittens learned all about willpower and how it's easier to stick to something if you can all help each other. <laughs> Following instructions. One day, Grandma was cleaning out a room for the kittens to have sleepovers at her house. Grandma! My dear lovely kittens, your new bedroom is virtually ready. All that's left is to build your beds. They'll be so comfy. Well, that is, as soon as I figure out how to assemble them. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Where's the pirate ship you bought for us, Daddy? Ahoy, here it is. But I think I left the instruction manual in the trunk. Uh, look, got it! Huh? Mm. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of parts in that one. It should take a long time. Piece of cake. We'll make the pirate ship super quick. And then we can go down and sail it on your pond. Wonderful. And while all of you are busy assembling ships and beds, I will go cook our dinner. Hey, Pudding, can you tell me what this says? Uh, take part A and connect it with part B. Then insert part C straight into part D. Huh? I didn't understand a single word of that. Hmm. <laughs> We can put the ship together using our imagination. Imagine that this is part of the pirate ship's deck. This looks like the steering wheel. And right here is the pirate flag. The kittens are sure that they can build a great ship. Aww. I guess we need the instructions after all. I'll go and get them out of the trash bin. But those instructions are so long. I'll be 100 years old before I'm done with them. I think we should try being logical. Meaning what? I'll explain. There's a lot of these small planks. They probably form the deck. It's only logical, right? They probably go up on top of these bow-shaped parts. That's logical too, isn't it? Doesn't, Doesn't look, look logical. logical. So, I guess it's time to get the instructions out of the trash bin. All right. All right. in this garbage can? I sorted them into the recycling bins so the garbage men could cart them off. No! Oh! oh, why'd I have to throw the instructions out? Oh, we'll never be able to find them now. Oh, it wouldn't be with the glass recycling. Instructions are made of paper. It should be in with the paper recycling, which hasn't been emptied out yet. Thank you very much, Grandma. This time around, the kitty cats did everything just as the instructions told them to. It still didn't work with the instructions. What's going on? I have a really good idea. Let's ask Daddy to help us put the pirate ship together. Daddy was still hard at work assembling the kittens' beds. <laughs> It looks like Daddy needs just as much help as us. Daddy, are you sure you're following the instructions? Well, I did look them over. Uh, I just laid them aside. Uh, I thought I could build it on my own. So, 
mast and anchor and steering wheel. Oh, kitten dears, may I have a look at your instruction manual? Well, I figured out the problem. You got your instructions mixed up somehow. Right here are the pirate ship instructions, and here are the ones for the beds. Well, look at that. <laughs> uh. Well, I don't think you'll have any more problems now. So awesome! Wow, me, wow, me, wow, me, wow! It can be fun imagining or trying to figure out things for yourself. Following the instructions usually makes the job much easier. Off to the races. One day, the kittens brought remote-controlled cars to the playground. Now car number one speeds ahead of the pack, rounding all obstacles. Hey, I think we should build our own racetrack on the playground. So we can have a race? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But I want to be in the race as well. Do you even know how to drive these cars? Well, no, but I'd really like to learn. May I? Uh, okay, fine. This drives the car forward, and this button makes it go backward. Finally, you steer it by turning hmm. this little wheel. Ah, it seems simple enough. <laughs> Not that way! No, oh. stop! Um, let me try to back up. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Uh -huh. Which way are you going? Uh. Go backward! Reverse! Well, that's huh? about enough of that. Everybody knows that girls aren't any good at driving. They just aren't quick enough. Uh, but girls are really good at pushing strollers, so that's something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, let's put a really sharp turn. And then we can put a ramp here. I'm gonna prove to them that girls are every bit as good at driving cars as boys are. <laughs> Candy found the remote control that operates her robo-fish. Excellent. Now I just need a little practice. Huh? Uh, uh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Oh. 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 Driving fast doesn't mean driving well. When I drive home from the supermarket, I try to avoid every pothole and bump and turn very gently because I don't want to spill my groceries everywhere. <laughs> I've got a really good idea! Candy drove the robofish very carefully to keep her favorite doll safe. All set for the race? Yeah. Candy, hurry up! Flap your fins faster! <laughs> <laughs> Drivers, start, start your, your engines! engines. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, no way! The fish 
across the line first. It's first, middle, and last. Then Candy wins and we all lose. It looks like girls can become good drivers after all. And since I was victorious, you boys have to push my doll carriage. Just do it carefully, please. Turns out not only being fast, but also being careful can help win the race, no matter how big or small. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.